Like, so wa watch this. This is my, me never letting my right knee get in front of my left knee. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. I hit shots like that a lot just to keep this back and prevent it from going this way. Beautiful. That was the best contact I've had. When when do, does the hip obviously like probably once you start turning through the ball is when the hip would come yeah off when the hip when the hip oh yeah like you know I get to the point right here right so like don't get me wrong like I would do a lot of those buddy where like I would get up against it and I would practice trying to literally keep it keep that trail hip up against it the whole time like so wa watch this this is like me never letting my right knee get in front of my left knee. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. I'd hit shots like that a lot just to keep this back and prevent it from going this way. You know, people get into the golf ball, you guys, and, the, and, the, and this hip goes that way. This hip needs to go that way. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. So when I do that, you know, I get in there and I feel that. I get that, I get that real... Okay, and you can see how that covers the ball. Watch, I'll do it nice and slow. Wow, that's that? pure. Is that nice? All right, you got it, my man. All right. Oh, dang, right when I shut my camera off. Thanks, Eli. <laughs> <laughs> so good. Love that. Hey, uh, wanna get some long drop? Yeah. Your call, six. anything you want. I'll go six. Okay. What, uh, what was the reason you felt like you won this golf tournament? Um, two things. I definitely made a lot of putts in situations that I need to make putts. Um, Is that not the case, though, to win a golf tournament yeah. every time? It's like, you guys, come on. Yeah. Like, please, pack, practice your putting. Make your putts. <laughs> thank you, Eli. Make, yes, make your putts, everybody. Especially inside of six feet. Th thank, um, you, thank you. I think the entire tournament I missed one putt inside of six feet for 36 holes. That's a nice job, buddy. Nice job. Um, and then I definitely, my driver was really good. Um, the irons were there. I definitely got a little jacked up on Sunday. <laughs> I, mean, I think at one point I hit like a 190 yard seven iron. Did you, did you, yeah. just, did you just get all the But um, yeah. yeah, I mean, I was definitely, especially I scored really well in the par fives. Um, I played the par fives really well. Just being in the right spots at the right times is, and making putts. You brought up a good point. Like, I mean, you know, something that doesn't get taught in golf and to, the, to, to any player, like a player who's playing at a club and you're playing your boys in a money match and you're getting pumped up because you're having the best round of your life and stuff or you know you you just came back after like being four down and everything's working now you're five, now you're one up with a couple to play um or you're brian stark in the u.s amateur yeah. and um you know this last year it was unbelievable we're in the middle of the last fairway playing unbelievable travis vick one of my other students um and here we are in the quarterfinals and starkey's making an incredible comeback on trav uh with three down with three to play and now all of a sudden one down last hole <laughs> We've been hitting six iron all week a certain distance. That distance was exactly. five paces short of the back right pin. Yeah. We hit the same shot we've been hitting all week from that distance and fly it right over the middle of the green dead and end up not winning the match, which we would have won if we hit the middle of the green. De I mean, devastating. We sat looking at the yardage book wondering what happened, looking up at the trees, where's the wind, you know? No. You. I call my dad and, of course, my dad. First thing he says, did you club him a half club down? <laughs> and I go, what do you mean? Like I thought we were gonna like, have you, like be five, six paces under the hole with these. Well, Stevie Williams always said, last four holes <laughs> of a major yeah. championship with Tiger. Gotta be a club he would, he would, he would, He would club him a half club down because of adrenaline. And I just like, my head just went like this. My dad. Dang it, Dad. Yeah, you know? Yeah. So I, I felt like I was, you know, parsing my responsibility. And, and, and honestly, you know, we did, it was working for us all week. And then, wow, who would have known that moment? He just striped it. He hits it. We're just like, oh, center green. Here we go. Thing flies to the green. We both look at each other completely clueless, you know? Yeah, I mean, that Adrenaline. happened to me on 17 of this tournament. It's a, it was a par three. It's like 170. A little downwind. Think, okay, just smooth seven iron. Stripe this thing. I was telling it to go in, and fair enough, it's up against the back wall of the houses, and I'd hit a flop to <laughs> even try and say well, bogey. No, but like here's the thing that's hard about that. Like when you're the player and you're in the moment and you don't have a caddy there, or even a caddy knowledgeable enough to remind you of a moment like that, it's hard to make the decision 
to remember and be yeah. mature enough as a golfer. And to trust that they, to, it's going to get there. To trust that it's going to get there. And to just, you know, it was that way even when, when I played in altitude, right? Where, you, where you're like 210 yards and you're like, God, is this really an eight iron? <laughs> and, and, and all of a sudden, you know, you're like, all right, I'm just going to hit it. And it just floats and it's there. And you're like, okay, I got it. You know, but, if it, but then the golfer tries to force it because they visually see that distance. And they're like, there's no way I can get this club there. Yeah. No, I mean, it's, it really is a trust thing. And, you know, that adrenaline is a real thing. And, you know, and, and then there's a way of just calming the adrenaline and, and taking deep breaths also and making sure that you just stay within yourself so that, that you know, the power, the steroid jerk doesn't happen, you know? <laughs> so it's, it's, it's interesting, but there's a, that's a whole other lesson for another time. That's why you should join the Poor Zach Golf Masterclass and subscription is because that's the stuff we talk about on there. Yep. And that's what, you know, Gabe's back there shaking his head. You know, we've had our couple live um, gr group sessions. Nice swing, buddy. Our couple live group sessions every, uh, uh, every month that we go typically for an hour to an hour and a half. And we discuss practice plans. We discuss the mentality, discuss these decision-making uh, things that we see happen on the golf course that are really kind of X-factor things that make golfers a lot better. But that's something that we're really proud of and we're excited to be uh, debuting our subscription here in 2022. It's gonna be something that goes on for as long as I live and as long as I'm teaching golf. So I hope that's quite a long time. My grandmother's 101 right now, so if <laughs> I can just keep on, keep on those genes, right, dude? We're gonna have some poor Zach golf. You know, just, just gold for years to come. <laughs> oh, hell All right, let's get back to my man here. Let's take on some, yeah, get some face on shots of him. <laughs> Eli, you're doing fantastic, buddy. And you're yeah. doing fantastic. I would just tell you, just keep trying keep to keep, just hit the, yeah. you're doing great there. Yeah, I love the, the hip up against there is bringing the awareness. I wouldn't get casual with this. People do it in lessons with me and then they don't do it anymore. And I'm like, okay. no, no, no. Even as the coach and knowing what it feels like, when I film myself doing it on there versus me doing it on a real swing, I always get deeper into it when I'm on that thing. So it's like, you know, I think the awareness of it is, is wonderful. I also want you to still try to practice hitting those baby cuts, okay? Okay. okay. And like, if I want to, like, I could go up against the wall in the back of my house and just rehearse. For death, sure. Right? I like something with a little bit of give, though. Okay. Because I like to be able to push, push into it. it, okay? And here's the other yeah. part of it, too. I, I do, um, I, I, you know what works, you know what works though? A ball, or like a Bosu ball, or like a squishy ball, yeah. or a beach ball, and just in between it. your butt and in between a wall. the wall. And then you have a little bit of squ a squish, you know, in there. Or even a pillow would work. You can get a pillow and get a big pillow from the from the couch or something and put that there. Um, that would work. But you know, I put one up on Instagram uh, recently too. Did you see the one I did? Yeah. Like, more as like a station, like not really hitting balls so much against it because it kind of slides around. But I like kind of. You know, I'd put it in like for a lefty, I'd lean it a little bit this way, for a righty a little bit this way, and just kind of get it really tight in there. And all that is is just putting a little bit of, you know, pressure up against this that I can feel right here, you know? Yeah. And that's why when I turn to the top, I can just push against it. You know, that's a, that's yeah. a nice way to that's practice a, that's it. That's a good thing for me, because the course that I mostly practice at, they don't have... They don't have bag stands and stuff? Yeah. And, and, yeah that's a good one. You can use your golf bag too. See, that's, that's the ball flight we need to look for. Little one-yard draw, which in this wind is just Little one-yard draw, which, which would have been uh, dead straight. Yeah. I mean, if you shape a ball one yard, it's always going to be a good shot. I mean, dude, so. come on. It's gonna, if, if, as long as you're aiming somewhere in the round yeah. of the hole. Yes. Oh. How about this guy, Gabe? He's doing a great job. Yeah, I mean, listen. There's, there's certain things I don't want to be, I don't, Eli's winning golf tournaments right now and there's certain things I don't want to be forced, right? I don't want there to be any forced motion down with the hands, even though the tendency is to go this way. Because we know why the tendency happens. It's because the hip goes this way. And everything goes this way, right? Rather than this way. And then everything would go back to where it is. So, you know, for me, I, I think there's a lot of value in little tiny, like if I'm, if I'm overturning the ball, Nothing wrong with warming up, buddy, and getting in here and going like this. And watch, maybe the camera even might pick these up. And all that is is me seeing me, I'm just trying to start it the opposite of you. I'm trying to start it just on my line, or for me, left of my line, for you, just right of your line, and just cutting back a little bit. You see mm -hmm. that? Just really showing that awareness of the yeah. club face back there. But watch, just setting that club, and just feeling like that club comes right through. 
What club is that? Pitching wedge? I just have a little, I just, I'm doing a little half eight iron. Half eight you iron. see how those are all tipping over, guys? It's like about one foot right. Yeah. It's pretty cool, right? And then, you know, what's cool about that is when I build that awareness up, and then all of a sudden in a swing, you know, I can really let it go. I can really be a little more aggressive. And that thing just freezes, right? Yeah. It's fun. I just like, you know, I'm like, I'm telling you right now, I can't wait to play more golf this year, dude. We're going to play some golf together. Sure. I'm trying to play golf with all the guys now. It's been, been too long. Yeah, it came off it a little bit. Okay, you felt it though, right? Yeah. That's why like, I like the, that, that being there though, Eli, because you know, you get you can instantly feel instantly it. Fe instant feedback, right? Because I can take a video and look at it and be like, "Well, did it go?" But yeah. no. But ha having this right here, so that when I know and I come off it, and I yeah, cause it's not as much that I don't feel the pressure as much anymore. I feel this come back this way almost. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> Ooh, dude, awesome. Hey, did you um? Did you get did you get some college uh, letters going? Yeah, to all to those coaches. You at the did camp. to all of them. To the to, coaches at the camp, yeah. G good, good to just to kind of do. A yeah, it's the four. There was the three Pac-12 coaches and the UCSD coach was awesome up there. Well, thank you for everything, and then just letting them know what yeah. you just accomplished. Yeah. Awesome. Ooh. Oh, that's the best six iron I've that ever hit. That was just so good. That was the best six iron you've ever hit. I, I, it was so pure that I wouldn't disagree with that. There we go. That, that was, was pure. really good. That was unbelievably pure. Just held up against the wind, too. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, that really stayed up against it all the way till. I was hit so flush too. This is a cool picture, you guys. Sand, flying out of divot. And Gabe getting after it. Yeah. Isn't that awesome? It's, it's super cool. No, when I just hit those like poles, and sometimes, I mean, most of the time now they don't draw, unless I've started holding off the club face more, but that's just from the hip coming off, right? A little yeah. bit. Yeah, these are sick. Eli, you wanted some drivers? Sure. <laughs> 